Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I'm going to teach you how to do the newborn hold in a boba baby wrap. I just had my second baby about a month ago and I have been wearing him in this all the time. It is so handy. It's just crazy how much you can get done with your having your arms free and I have a 16 month old as well that I'm always chasing around so it is really important for me to have a wrap when I have a newborn. This is one of the only places he's content. I've never met a baby who didn't just love to be in the wrap and be with their mom all day and that is just totally fine with me and I love carrying him around all the time so. This is the Boba baby wrap and I actually just got it for this baby. I had the Cuddle Bug brand wrap for my daughter and I really didn't like it as well. I ended up not using it very much because it was just a lot heavier. We would get really sweaty even if I was only wearing a tank top underneath and it was just harder to use. I just didn't really like it all that much so we ended up almost never using the wrap. And then with this baby I got the boba baby wrap because I heard a lot of good things that it's, it's still really affordable but it's also lighter weight and just a lot easier to use. So, so far I've absolutely loved it. It's not as expensive as the Solly Baby Wrap or the Mopi Wrap, which is great and it's still really high quality, so I definitely recommend the Boba Wrap. But all three of those are very similar. It's essentially just a really long piece of stretchy fabric that you wrap around yourself and put your baby inside and they're really nice and secure and snug and comfortable. I like the wrap a lot better than a regular baby carrier just because it has flat pieces of fabric that, that just like stretch over your back and don't put pressure in one particular spot like straps on a regular carrier do. And this is just so comfortable that a lot of times I'll just put it on in the morning and take him in and out of it throughout the day and just never take this off and I essentially just wear it as another shirt. And it's so just comfortable, it's just fabric, so I don't even really notice that it's there, which is really awesome. I can also really easily put a sweater over this if it's chilly in the house, or if we're going to go for a walk, I can even put a coat over us. So today I'm going to show you the newborn hold in this, and this is for babies up to 10 pounds. And then you do it slightly different after that, and I'll show you both because he's right about 10 pounds, so he can really do either one. And when they're older and they have a lot more head control, I'll even put him facing out so that he can like see what's going on. At that point, he'll be really curious about looking around at the world around him and he won't want to be just facing me all the time. So it's really nice that you have so much flexibility with how you wear your baby in these. You'll notice I have his head tucked in like this and I try to switch it back and forth every time just so that he doesn't always get used to having his head turned one way that wouldn't be very good at all for his back and neck. I have him on this side this time and then when I put him back in it next time I'll put his head on this side facing that way. I just find that when I tuck his head in like this he falls asleep a lot faster and stays asleep a lot longer. He'll take a several hour long nap in this where he wouldn't take nearly that long of a nap laying by himself. Another key with baby wearing is to keep it safe. You always want to make sure that you can see their little noses and be aware of their breathing. You don't want them to get so smushed in there that they obviously couldn't breathe, so you just always want to be paying attention. I can always see his face and his nose and I can hear his breathing and feel him breathing. The rule of thumb is that you want them close enough to kiss. So if they're close enough that you can kiss their little heads, then you're probably pretty good. You'd want them to be falling down in there too far. So anyway, let's get right into this tutorial. So here's the wrap and you're going to find the exact middle and the middle is marked with a tag. It'll depend on the type of wrap you have, what the tag looks like. So then I just take it and I kind of bunch it up a little bit but still making sure that it's not folded on itself. But I don't really like how it goes on when it's like stretched all the way down so I just like to kind of bunch it up like this. And then you bring the sides and then you bring it across like this to make an X. And then I'm going to bring them up over my shoulders. I'm going to kind of adjust and make sure that it's all laying flat so that it's more comfortable. Okay, so now you have it crossing your back and you have these two coming over your shoulders. You're just going to take both of these and put them through the tummy panel again. And then now you're going to cross these in the front. Make another X like this. And then I'm going to bring it through the back. And then you can tie it in the back, but I have a lot extra, so I'm going to bring it over to the front again and tie it there. Now, it might take a couple of times of wrapping to get this on right, and you want to try to get it really tight, and you're going to think, where is the baby going to fit? But this is really stretchy, and they will fit, and you'll be glad you got it really tight because they'll just feel more snug in there and it'll 
just be a lot better. So now we have our baby. This is Demetrius. He is ready for a nap. <laughs> what you're going to do is you want to look for the panel that goes underneath and that's the panel that you're going to put them in first. So I have him supported over here on this shoulder and I'm going to kind of scooch him into this lower panel and bring it up over his back. And then you bring the lower panel over and their feet are just kind of tucked in there underneath them and then you bring this panel up. And now he's really nice and secure in there. He's got several layers of support. Don't be freaked out if they're fussy in here. Sometimes it takes a little while to get them to fall asleep and be content. You can kind of bounce his head in there and put this panel over his head and then he'll go to sleep pretty fast after this. And yeah, now my arms are free and I can go about the house doing all my chores and taking care of my toddler. So this has been a lifesaver this second time around. When they're older, you can bring their legs out of these panels like this and have their legs lower like this. And then you bring this panel up again and you can cover their feet if they're if they don't have socks on and it's cold. And he's just about 10 pounds, so I started carrying him like this and not doing the newborn hold as often and he does seem to like it a little bit better. Up to about 10 pounds, the newborn hold is really nice and then after that, this one's really nice. So yeah, that is how you wrap the Boba Baby Wrap and do the newborn hold. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Feel free to go back and watch that tutorial several more times to make sure that you have the wrap down and it might take a little bit of practice and a little bit of watching over and over again to get it down. It's a little confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy and so nice. It's definitely worth the time it takes to learn how to do it. If you're interested in more tips on baby type stuff, go watch my video on my minimalist baby essentials where I talk about my love for wraps and cloth diapers and a whole bunch of other awesome stuff. So I will link that video down below if you're interested. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.